Yeah, we're here at the Ville in Townsville. It's a great venue. And everyone's arriving, they're signing up, getting some merch, getting their show bags. They've got some great, great giveaways in there. And they're getting a t-shirt, a really nice towel. Um, there's some great stuff in there from our, our supporters. It's awesome. Stubby cooler, stickers, sunny. Yeah, getting their labels for the front of their bikes so every rider gets a decal with their name, their number. I'm looking forward to it. It's probably about my 12th, 15th safari. I'm lucky enough to be involved with staff. I get a unique perspective at the back of Sweep Rider, ripping down arrows for people and helping a few people out here and there, but it's super satisfying and always exciting. Love it. 180 odd bikes um, roll out of out of the resort and, and start heading for Mission Beach. The, the excitement's building for tomorrow when we leave and dinner tonight for sure. Well, I've just jumped off the bike, uh, come up from Melbourne, that was three and a half thousand k's, so I'm pretty knackered as you can imagine. But really excited because it's my first safari, uh, we're about to kick off tomorrow, they're actually in there briefing uh, everyone right now, so come in and check it out. Okay, welcome along everyone to the 2021 BMW GS Safari, Townswood of Cairns. We welcome you along on behalf of BMW Australia and um, hope you have a great week here on Safari, I'm sure you will. The 2021 BMW GS Safari is well underway. The vibe's high. We got through all the formalities, the welcome speeches, the rider briefing. Everyone's here now having dinner, cracking some beers, having a great time. So looking forward to a fantastic week on the bike. Sometimes I still wonder if you go, will the rest of us keep the light up? Or fade among the grown-ups? A bit of uh, apprehension, first day out. It's always going to be a little bit of nerves, but I'm sure we'll be over it by the time we uh, get the first 100 k's under the belt. Be good. Caution signs are wonderful. Because mm. if we hadn't had that big caution sign, you would have hit that one earlier. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but it came off pretty good. So, no, it's a lot better on the dirt than on the car. Yeah. I'm Tim. Uh, one of the one of the doctors. Been a, well, I did a master class with the guys a few months ago, six months ago or something, and then got the call. Said, "Do you want to join this doc?" <laughs> Hell yeah, I do. So uh, yeah, first first safari for me. Super super exciting. Feeling good. I'm John. I've been on a couple of safaris. I'm one of the other docs. So, yep, yeah, it's all. Uh, oh, it's always nice to be up here. But... You know, coming from South Aussie, this is green and really cool. Green and warm, yeah. good, great road. God's country. Mm. It is God's country, isn't it? <laughs> That's right.
Beautiful ride too. It it's just taking in the scenery. That's Pulling all you up. can do. That's what it's about. Pulling up slow. Yeah. Just cruising. Having a good time. Just having a little nap. Yeah. Yeah. Mate, you've done 200Ks this is day one of five days. Are you having a nap? <laughs> I think so. Not a nap, just a rest. Really good. I, I just enjoyed that run. Um, it would have been interesting to come a week ago when it was all muddy. <laughs> it would have been fun, but it was, uh, it was, it was a nice ride. Um, even this bitch in the road's nice and you know, just a pleasant to ride and mm -hmm. sort of laid the corners. So, yeah, well, as I said, I, I couldn't go last year because of what happened. So, uh, it's just nice to get out. Um, it's nice to see uh, you know the safari sold out again. and. Everyone was really keen. Last night was a great night, you know, just the emotions and the excitement, you know, they're always a little safari. That's what makes it so unique, you know, just the people turn up and they're excited from day one. And then it only gets better through the week, you know. No, this is the side near Mount Fox Road, two kilometres. Oh, I can't see that from where we're sitting. <laughs> It's all about the uh, the adventure, not the destination. Isn't that right? This is true. You've got to stop the journey. It's the journey. You've got to stop the roses. Yeah, we're, we're loving it. You've got to stop where you need to stop and take it all in. That's what it's all about. Look at that. Everyone's just enjoying life. Great great grandfather of all the GSs here. We should be all genuflecting, Chrissy. Thank you for bringing us in. <laughs> it's beautiful, that's all I can say. Yeah. So, day one in the bag, we're at Mission Beach. We're just having the riders' briefing. Uh, big day. 465 Ks, and uh, for a lot of these guys, it's their first safari. So a lot of uh, built up hype and, and to, to get here for, to understand what the experience is all about. So it's really good to get day one out of the way because now everyone knows what's going on, how it works. And we're heading to Port Douglas tomorrow and the route looks really, really interesting. There's some super twisty terrain and some optional stuff. So it's gonna be a step up, but now that we're on our way, that's what it's all about. Just having a good time and uh, giving people some, some fun, some challenge, and, and a lot of awesome experiences.
Well, here we are, it's 6 a.m. So day two BMW Safari, 378 k's today. Got a quick bitch bitumen run up to Miller Miller, and then we go down the old Palmerston Highway and we hit some dirt just out there and um, go through Irvine Bank around lunchtime, have lunch there, and then head up through Atherton and in the, make our way into Port Douglas. So uh, another good day. Yeah, it's sketchy, very slippery. Well, I just, yeah. I just, I just had bugger it. I just went straight through. It wasn't a problem at all, but old mate here, he was a little bit tentative about getting across. But one mate fell over and we found out the cause, it was a banana peel. Yeah. Banana peel, what most dangerous be? thing you could ever have on a boat. I know. A you can't have them on boats, you can't have them on bikes, no. apparently. Look at that, over. look at that. Amazing in there, and just the history that that's in that shed is just unbelievable. But the clutch works. Yeah. But you got to put the foot out the door to stop. Oh, all sorts of stuff, the, the whole lot of military uh, history and the whole lot of uh, history about, about the mining industry up here and the logging industry as well. It's a little uh, hidden gem, I think. It's the best find so far for the day. After doing that crossing, which scared the hell out of me, but I got there in the end. It's still brine stuff, it's pretty cool. It's not a museum, but just brine stuff. Started off this morning, thinking we're gonna, gonna see a little bit of sunshine over the coastline, but yeah. and the rain come in and, and 10 minutes later I had water coming out of my boots. So we've had proper rain today. It's been coming in from all angles. And then suddenly hit that, and it's like the sun came out. Wow, I was just like, I was about to give up motorbiking for that. I was like wet through, like a little pool of water around my junk, and then <laughs> suddenly stand up, drain it off, sun comes out. And they all doubted me, but here we are at Irvine Bank, sun's out. We're about to head off on some, some great dirt and uh, get back get back into Port Douglas for the evening. So we've we'll probably stopped about four or five times all up today. Used about 20 canisters of CO2 and about 15 plugs, 20 plugs probably. Did Boothy leave you? Yeah, he clicked me very quickly. He said, do you want to stay and help me change the uh, change my tire and put a tube in? And he was like, no. Goodbye. <laughs> <laughs>
three, both wheels, three flat all batteries. Day. Three flat batteries today. One drop pair of sunglasses. But it was fantastic. And I decided I'd put my wet weather gear on after I got wet. <laughs> <laughs> Here we are, we made it to Port Douglas, day two of BMW Safari. What a day. The guys had to deal with some rain this morning. Um, Skip and I left nice and early and, and we didn't even get to dodge it. We still had to, to ride through that stuff. But we made it through the rain and it, the rain gave up and, and stopped for us right as we hit an awesome dirt section across the Irvine Bank. And what a crazy little town that place was. It was awesome to check that, that out. From there we moved on. We ran into a little bit of a drama. Skip got a flat tire and we chased it. We had to throw some plugs in and we tried to milk it for all it's worth, but eventually we had to stop and put a tube in that. So I sort of left Skip behind and kept motoring on and made it through to Port Douglas to the beautiful Sheraton Mirage here and ready to do it all again tomorrow. Morning of day three, we're starting to set up. The boys are gonna do some maintenance. Just uh, get the toolbox out, get, it, get the tools and get on the action. Uh, we're changing a strut in this one. Uh, just a bit of an oil leak at the front of it, so it's uh, front off, sides off, tank off, air box off. Get the strut in with the new bolt. Mate, we're going out to lay the arrows today. I'm having a change out of sweep duties and uh, leaning out with Skip and yeah, see if we can get everybody where we need them to go. Uh, this morning I've got a job to do to go and check out a an optional bit that uh, when they did the recce it was underwater and there's a couple of decent creek crossings and a couple of big bog holes so we'll go out first thing check it out. If it's passable we'll arrow it in, if it's not we'll close it off. So uh, yeah, a few of the crew are excited to see if we're going to open that, but basically really good loop day up in the range, back down to Port Douglas tonight, so no no luggage truck, none of that, we've got a pretty hooty cruisy day, it's hump day, and uh, looking forward to it. So beautiful. Do you want to do it again, Frank Mark? Yeah. yeah. What what is, what hey, can you, show, can you show us what not to do? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> yeah. 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 Give me the camera and you do it. Oh, let me have a go on your bike. No, no, no. What not to do. That is definitely what not to do, Miles. <laughs> I think it'll this be the last. doesn't look crazy, but if you get on the edge of one of these ruts, it's like ice, it's like yeah. a Vaseline. So, Joe showed us there what happens, a little bit sideways, and then she's uh, a pirouette. <laughs> <laughs> Wow. Yeah. So, try and yeah. hold it down. Yeah. 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 Four 
four times today, like just massive fish tails. <laughs> you were behind me, man. It's just like, ah, ah, and I just somehow kept it up, man. It's like, whoop, whoop, magic feet. <laughs> Wonderful day. It's the hardest riding I've ever done, but it's amazing. What, if you, if you didn't do this section today, I reckon you're gonna kick yourself. Yeah. yeah. Where are we? Good question. Baron Falls. Baron Falls. Baron Falls. <laughs> Thanks, sir. Thank, Thank you. Well. Check it out. line it's going to work or it's not and this time it didn't and I think um, my back wheel got stuck in a rut and just went out and then I got pushed over into the um, slippy foliage and the next, yeah. the next thing I know I'm getting thrown off and the bike's upside down above me and the only thing holding it up is the centre stand. Whoa. So what you got thrown into the foliage? Yeah. So, so you had a soft landing? Yes. So I ended up down yeah, Over there. Here. Yeah. And the only thing that stopped the bike coming down on top of me was the centre stand. Caught on the concrete edge of the bridge. Mm. <laughs> and the bike's fine? Oh, just cosmetic. Yeah, otherwise the bike's fine. It's a great piece of machinery. And your jacket? That's from something else, is it? That's the um, mud slide that was not long after. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> We just wrapped up day three, a loop day out of Port Douglas, back to Port Douglas. Sheridan Mirage, unreal. Everyone's pumped to have two nights there. Today's ride was epic. It was one of the best days I think a lot of these riders would have had on adventure bikes. One, one of the best days I've had on adventure bikes. It was raining this morning, so the bitch here was pretty wet. And then we, we got into some uh, pretty good trails that were, <laughs> that were slippery as. Um, very, very slippery bikes were spinning around on themselves, but no, no carnage, it was all good. And, and the vibe is super high. The next two days are super special as well. We head up Cape Tribulation and then a loop out west. We get, get sort of way out of the rainforest territory back in the can. So looking forward to what the next two days bring and the vibe's gonna be unreal. This is day four. 
I'm one of the doctors. Doesn't seem like there's much to do because everyone's behaving themselves at the moment. We haven't had too many mishaps. And a few, uh, few sore butts, but nothing too crazy. Uh, day four's a big day. We had a, a sort of semi-rest day yesterday. Less Ks, but uh, it was pretty full on. And today uh, we're heading up through the rainforest, little ferry, up to through Danger, I think it is. It's about 420 Ks, so. Oh, I've definitely been at the back uh, of the pack. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. No, we've been having a fantastic time. Um, trying to ride with different people each day to get a bit of more of a different experience and it just always ends up being Luke and I so that we can ride at our own pace but oh, you, just, you wake up in the mornings and you're just ready to go getting the itchy all over it's been great River crossing, big action, man. It was unbelievable. Um, I don't know how many bikes I got through, and I, I probably rode two bikes halfway through. Um, rode my through, got to the other side, jumped off, and as soon as I jumped off, there was already a few boys there and, and had to sort them out. Um, but good action, fantastic ride, good, good memories. I made it across, I don't know how I got to the other side, just my momentum was my friend, but how good is it? That's some of the, that's the best river crossing I've done and that's some of the best footage I've ever seen, that's some gold there. <laughs> When you're looking for gravel to grab to get some grip, that's a fun day. <laughs> Pretty muddy and slippery out there, so it was great. <laughs> Slipping and sliding everywhere, it was just really good. We're wet, we fell into the water, we've got rocks, we've got river crossings, we've just got the whole lot today. It's, uh, and it's pretty warm up here, pretty warm for winter anyway. When was the last time you were through here? The Cape York Safari, 2017. Three years ago? Four, Four years ago. Yeah, yeah, we came the other way through. So we don't need to go back through because we've already done it that way. Yeah, it's okay if cruise. you go back that way. I'm sure you're going to have plenty of adventure. Oh, I want to do that four times today. <laughs> four times. How did you go on the crossing? The crossing was good. I stalled it a couple of times, but there was no, it, we weren't over revving. I was, I was obviously under revving. <laughs> uh, but no, good. Traction control off so we can sort of get through it, but it's just nice to fill up your boots with a, your boots with a couple of litres of water. Like, I'm, I'm full. Like, it's coming out my nose. Like, that's how full I am. That was but, amazing. Amazing. So good. It's awesome. <laughs> I did it, man. I did it. Yeah, can we grab it for a second? Uh, to a nice pub, and then I rode back the same route. Uh, there were some river crossings, uh, some slippery uh, mud hill, um, red clay hill, and. Uh, yeah, so it's pretty challenging at times, but an awful lot of fun. It was like to the right, 
Green is way better. Come back over to the left. It's all chopped out, I reckon. Off the, I think I shut off the engine before I even hit the water, right? I think they were oh, doing bad. wheel spins in that part earlier. Yeah. yeah. On the way over? All right. <laughs> All my mates have done uh, several of these and they said come along. So um, I registered, got my learners in March, uh, which meant I had to get my license uh, about a week ago. So um, we've been on a couple of rides, but uh, I've got about five hours before before the safari, only ridden for about five hours. Yeah, that crossing's not easy. I knew that was going to be the big challenge though. <laughs> so. Not too bad, even thing. Good old merino wool socks. Warm when wet. That's just sweat from riding so hard. Don't think I got wet in that creek. to get there, three beers at the pub, wait for a few people at the creek crossings and yeah, hasn't been too bad a day. What time is it? Four o'clock. Guess we left about eight, eight hours, Jeez. Longer than I thought, actually. So BMW tech support is a massive part of the safari events. When you've got 200 bikes doing thousands of k's, there's tyres that need to be replaced, general maintenance, few crash repairs, and we've got a team of experts here that put in so much work. Oh, changing hoops for the customers. Done a big day on the bike, straight in, still in the gear, straight on the time machine. Part of the team. The truck is amazing, a big four-wheel drive truck. It brings everything along at every venue, every night, they set up a little workstation and just churn through the work and you know there'll be maybe a dozen tires, maybe 20 tires going on bikes tonight. Other bits and pieces, obviously the odd customer crashes a bike and it needs to be patched up to get through to the finish line. Well done. Yeah, it was definitely easier on the way back. This guy would, would like a new front tyre. We're just trying to get that sorted for him. Give him a little bit more grip and confidence. Just try and help the boys as much as we can. If we can just pull tyres or wheels in and out for them, they can do the rest of the work and just helps them out, makes their job a bit easier, mate, so they can still get out for dinner. Up day four, arrived at Palm Cove. We had a run up north, up towards uh, the Lion's Den. Pretty iconic pub up uh, near Cooktown. To get up there, we went uh, across the ferry and up past Cape Tribulation onto the Bloomfield track. And uh, yeah, that track really challenged a few people, uh, blew, blew a few people's minds. On an adventure bike, it's that right mix of challenge, scenery, um, fun, and, and, and we got some more rain, so it was greasy. There was some orange clay hills that were, were a handful, but not, not impossible. And um, yeah, a lot of people have really made some riding breakthroughs and uh, are feeling good about what they've achieved. We're out here 
getting day five underway. Been out nice and early, putting all the arrows up, marking the route in so the riders know where to go. <laughs> there we go, arrow. <laughs> so far, Safari's been an awesome week. We've had four great days, a mega mix of all different terrains, great bitumen, great dirt. The riders are pumped, and day five's gonna bring them in nicely to Cairns to finish off. Lots of slipping and sliding, a bit of fun. Tell you what, what a different day today. Variety of, uh, of the terrain we've gone across over the last five days. You know, mud, and water crossings, this loose, loose, dusty stuff. You know, on the last day it was a bit unexpected because, uh, you know, from all the rain we've had, but it's dry here, so. Very cool. people in front of you doing it you think oh must be you must be able to do it yeah, yeah. especially the slope yeah <laughs> if i were on my own i'd say right i'm turning back <laughs> but you know the time goes up yeah <laughs> follow everyone else Love yeah. it. that last bit coming over the top of that hill and then the, the road just dropped away. I was just hanging on for a ride, I was a passenger. <laughs> <laughs> Flapping down the hill. <laughs> I think I, did, I ran them all up and then I stopped to change the GoPro battery, so then I had to round them up again. <laughs> Well, what a week it has been. The GS Safari for 2021 has taken in a little bit of everything from wet tropics to open plains to dusty, tight technical trails. It's been a magnificent week and the GS 1250 hasn't put a foot wrong. I'll be coming back to do this the first chance I get. How far to go? <laughs> uh, probably 60 k's. Yeah. All downhill. The home run, mate. Sad, but it's all over then. <laughs> <laughs> 